Hey everyone, happy Friday. It is Connor here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's do a couple of new candle reviews to finish off the week. We're going to be continuing on and actually finishing these new Yankee Candle Easter candles from their Easter collection. Obviously Easter is over, but I still wanted to get these reviews up for you guys just so that um, I could have them for next year. Um, and just to kind of look back and see how my performance was. And I also just think that you guys enjoy seeing the reviews of these so that you guys can know what you have to look forward to if you purchased it. And yeah, you never know when you would need to find a review on Strawberry Bunny Shortcake. So let's go ahead and talk about that one. I will be back a little bit later and talk about the Key Lime Coconut Donut as well. So those are the two reviews for today. On an unrelated note, I just wanted to let you guys know Homeworks is releasing five new candles today in their, um, I think it's called the Nostalgic Treats Collection. Um, it's basically like Harry's like nostalgia um, collection of like scents from his childhood. There is a bubblegum one, there's a cherry lime slushy fruit punch, there's a caramel one, and um, what's the other one? There's one more. Let me check the website real quick just so I can get it for you guys. Um, the, oh, Banana Split Sunday. Forgot about that one. How could I forget about that one? So those are the five new scents. Um, they are doing a 30% off right now, I believe, if you check your text and you're like signed up for their rewards program. Um, you can get a pretty good discount on those, but those are available now on homeworks.shop. I will link their uh, website down below, and I'm sure you can probably use a ambassador code as well. I'm not an ambassador, but I do know um, a couple of people here that are on YouTube. Um, Melanie, Tiffany, Vanessa, Brett, Philly, Candleman, lots of good options for discount codes. So happy shopping if you partake. Anyways, Let's get into this review. So this is another one of those Easter ones that is now on sale. So um, it's $17 now. This one was the only one this year that came in a paraffin option as well. They had, um, it's like a different label. It's kind of cute for Easter here. Let me go ahead and show you guys. It is um, right here. Oops, let me scroll down. There we go. It is like a gnome, um, but that is the paraffin option if you still prefer that. But yeah, I have it here in the signature tumbler. Um, first of all, love this label. I really normally prefer the jar style signature labels because they're just a little bit more um, simple and kind of just work better. I feel like sometimes these look a little messy, but I think that this is really cute and fun. For Easter, it's just got strawberries and bunnies and shortcake and just really delicious things. I also love this pink wax color that they went with. I just, I like the whole look of this. All right, so this one is out, has been out before. It is definitely not a new one. This one has came out for the last couple of years. It's been around for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so your notes. We've got... Um, Sorry, my page just went away. The description says, a tempting confection of sweet strawberries layered between fluffy vanilla cake and topped with whipped cream. And your top notes are spun sugar, sweet strawberries, lychee, black raspberry, and blood orange. Your mid notes are passion fruit, fluffy cotton candy, pink pomegranate, and pink kiwi. And your base notes are whipped vanilla malt and white honey. That's a lot of notes in there. Sometimes I wish that they didn't put as many notes because it can just be like so complex. Like Kringle does that too and I get why they do it. They want you to really know what you're smelling but sometimes just like a couple of things makes it much easier for the consumer. I like how Homeworks does it. They just like put the four key things and honestly for this scent, it's not that complex of a scent. This is a pretty basic scent. So let me just tell you what I'm picking up. Obviously the sweet strawberry, this is a very um, artificial strawberry, honestly, but I like it. Normally I won't always love the artificial, super like sugared strawberry scents, but this totally has like that candied strawberry, artificial, syrupy, 
kind of the gross tasting ones, but it smells really good in here. Um, I do pick up a little bit of that like cotton candy vibe to it. I do think that it mixes in well with that strawberry. Um, so like sponge sugar, cotton candy. Um, of course I get the like shortcake. It's got a really nice cake note in here. I would say though, I would like a little bit more cake in here. I think that this one lacks the cake note as much as I would want it to. I'm hoping that they, um, you know, could come out with another one that has a little bit more of the cake note. If you're looking for like a strawberry scent that has more cake, then I would let, then I would definitely suggest you check out the Bath and Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. The Homeworks um, Strawberry, what is it called? Strawberry Shortcake? I don't know what that one is called. Um, sorry, I'm like forgetting all of these names. Strawberry uh, strawberry birthday cake and strawberry glazed cupcake. I feel like Homework's always says good with strawberry. I know the strawberry glazed cupcake is really good. I have not tried the birthday cake one from, uh, Homework's, but I'm sure that one is good too. But, um, yeah, if you're looking for more of like that cupcake scent, then I would check out either of those. This one leans a little bit more towards just like that really like artificial, sweet, sugary strawberry with a hint of the cake note some cotton candy for sure. Um, I do get like a whipped cream note in here, just like a little bit. Like obviously you can see, I think there's a little right there on the label, but I do get a little bit in there. But honestly, the other things in these notes, like the lychee, I don't pick up lychee, lychee, whatever you want to call it. Black raspberry, I don't really pick that up. Blood orange, I don't really pick that up. Um, passion fruit, no. Pomegranate, I guess it could mix in with the strawberry. Kiwi, not really. And then white, white honey. I don't even know what that is really. <laughs> I guess honey, sweetness, sugariness, and uh, whipped vanilla malt, I guess could get put in with like that creamy note. But y'all, this is a really delicious scent. I will say that I really like this one. It is super yummy. And I don't know, I just always really enjoy scents whenever it's like a fruit mixed with like a cake. Like, um, for example, the berry trifle from Homeworks, yum. I just love any like fruity scent that's really sweet. It has like a cake note in there, delicious. So I really do enjoy this one. And honestly, I could burn this one even when it is not Easter. I would, I would definitely pick a couple of these up just to have for the rest of the year. I think this would be really yum during the summer and it's a good spring one as well. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the scent. All right, performance. For the burn, it's doing really well so far as all of the others have been doing. As you can see, I am nearing the halfway point. Not quite there, but we're getting there. Um, the burn is doing really well for me. The wicks are doing well. I will go ahead and give you guys an overhead view. There you are. Um, nice clean burn. No sooting um, or any issues like that. Um, just making sure I'm trimming these wicks. Not too short, but just enough to get that like mushroom part off but yeah it's been a clean burn so far um i just i really enjoy the burn for these yankee easter candles um or just the signature candles in general they do really well for me and i have really good luck with them and i just really like the performance that i get from them um, as far as the strength and throw goes, this one is doing pretty well for me. I know some have told me that theirs is pretty light and I know that some have told me that it is like the strongest candle ever. So I don't know, maybe there's like some batch issues for me. Mine is doing pretty well. Um, I would probably give it somewhere between like a seven to a seven and a half, which is pretty well for Yankee. Um, that's a good spot for me for strength and throw. It does really well in my kitchen. I'm just burning it here in my dining room so um, I can film it here because it's the easiest place for me to film. But I primarily been burning it in the kitchen and then kind of been like switching it between the kitchen and the entryway. And it's really been doing its job in both of the areas and filling up the space. So I feel like this one is a pretty good thrower. Um, the Key Lime Coconut Donut, which I'll review a little bit later, is very light for me, which is really unfortunate. I'll get more into that in the review, but I feel like this one does pretty well for burn, performance, and strength and throw. And I really like the scent as well. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this strawberry bunny shortcake down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I will be back a little bit later for the other review that I have later today. See you guys then. Bye.